What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to the Nana Manga, this time with volume 19 I believe, uh, chapter 71. I remember the last chapter actually being feeling relatively short to be honest with you, had a future segment of course with uh, Komatsu's lovely daughter which was nice, we saw a bit of Junko in the main series which is crazy, we only really usually see her in the uh, kind of at the end of volumes, given her piece, <laughs> but um, yeah that was, uh, that was nice to see. We also had this uh, interesting Rayra shot here with what is her son and most likely Shin's son, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that was a that was a lovely shot right there, wasn't it? And then uh, we did return to the current time in apartment seven oh seven, but um, yeah, it wasn't too kind of comprehensive last week. I don't remember there being too many kind of like revelations, apart from again the fact that Rayra does have a son, which was uh, which was quite crazy. Yeah, Rayra. I think she also said she didn't want to see Shin again in last week's chapter. And yeah. Uh, but I will quickly switch over to this other version so we can see the cover in um, colour. Do let me know what you guys think about this chapter in the uh, comment section as well. Uh, leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy these and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions. I'm not sure how, much, how many we got left to be honest with you. Oh shit. Oh shit, what the hell? We really haven't got much left. Where did I start again? Was it was it in the fifties I started? Huh. I remember feeling like I had loads left, but um I guess not. Oh I see. Some of these later ones, volume thirty one uh twenty one for example, only has like three chapters, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> I thought I had loads left. Yeah, yeah that kind of sucks. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, have a little look at the. Ah, oh, there isn't there isn't a color version of this of this one apart from them in the bath together here, which I'm pretty sure I've already seen. I'll uh, have a better look at that on this version here. I'm not sure. I don't think there is any kind of special at the end of this volume. I think it. Um, I I kind of like what they do in the usual volumes anyway. I like the specials that they do for the characters a lot. But um, yeah, I also do like what they usually do at the end of volumes anyway. So it's not exactly disappointing that there isn't a uh, special. Oh yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> don't remind me of the shoes. Um, okay, yeah, we've got Sats. Is that Satsuki? What, uh, what looks like outside apartment 707, I think I recognize this from. I didn't want to complain about Takumi always being busy. I felt lonely because Takumi didn't seem lonely at all. He wasn't with me. Yeah, yeah, a lovely little valentine's gift from Komatsu and yep let's get right into it here say ah uh... <laughs> nope. what the hell romanticize yourself Yuri bridge yourself up It's so yummy. <laughs> the skill of a master chocolatier. You got you got me these so uh, just so you could eat them. That's not true. I got some for Shin too. Can he even have them? Probably not. Although I say that it's quite ridiculous the amount of drugs and contraband that goes around in prisons. Like it, it's it's actually like more insane in real life than it is in in like movies like you think it's pretty like uh what's it called made big and explosive and such for movies you think oh yeah you know what real prisons aren't like that real prisons don't have this much smuggling or or so on but i think it's actually even worse in real prisons <laughs> in in plenty of places um i've seen like real not in person but i've seen like real recordings of prison cells and such in the uk and it kind of looks like a, a half decent kind of room. Like they, they got like their clothes that they want to wear. They got all sorts post up on the walls. They got 
nice food, phones, TVs, and it's just like, wow. And obviously loads of drugs going about, like weed and and so on. And yeah, so uh, actually I think it's even more crazy in, in real life than it is made out to be in the movies, which is usually the opposite for pretty much everything else. So uh, yeah, maybe not Japan. I don't know what it's like in Japan, but um, I did that. There's that viral thing going about of Japan's uh, food, isn't there? And the prison food in Japan looks fucking lovely. It looks better than, <laughs> than what I make. Oh no! Why can't we see? Do you know what? we haven't seen Shin at all since he got arrested? Have we? Not in like a jail cell or anything. Why can't we see him? When are they going to let him out? It's been two weeks now. Don't say it like that. Yes, by the way, did you see the woman weekly? I don't read any of that crap. They had a photo of the girl who got arrested with Shin. What's she like? i got to see this. She looks like Rayra. <laughs> yeah. Blast bassist. Boy. The mysterious face. To, uh, sorry. Last bassist, boy, the mysterious face of a beautiful flight attendant, the bombshell, easily mistaken for trap nests, Ray Rock. Yep. Thank you guys for letting me know the difference, by the way. Go look out for the uh, the bangs, which the flight attendant doesn't have. Other than that, they look very similar. And Madame prostituting beautiful boys. <laughs> beautiful boys, eh? Uh, he is a beautiful boy. So she's going away for a long time, you'd hope. Prostituting men. Well, not even men, boys. I feel like everyone who does that kind of stuff, it's uh, everyone, yeah, should, whether it be boys or girls, should go away for a long time. But um, also, like, I feel like there is very, I feel like it's, Hundreds of times worse doing it with boys and girls. Uh, I feel like with like the classic pimps that we <laughs> that we come like to know again from like movies and stuff, they don't actually seem like um, obviously they're wrong, but they're uh, they're dealing with adults and adults get into that by themselves. Then again, adults they're vulnerable people most of the time, so it's it is wrong. Don't get me wrong, but at least adults choose to go in that direction um but like then really not old enough to think about what you're doing <laughs> in this regard when you're a boy like shin or whatever and again just takes advantage of like traumas and so on so hopefully she gets a long time woman weekly anna announces she's going solo A flight attendant who works, who looks like Rayra. If I was in, in public, I'd just scream. So that's the girl with Shin in the photo they bribed me with. It wasn't Rayra. But it's crazy because it's so, like, they're so close. The paparazzi and everyone are so close. Because he was with Rayra, but yeah. They were so close to a juicy, juicy scoop. Even more juicy than this. They totally played me. I kept my word to you. Oh shit. Stalker boy's here again. Fuck off, will you? I deleted the photo and the story. Don't worry. It won't get published now. Kurata! That girl ran a website that was pretty much a prostitution ring. He's stalking me again? Really cool the police, to be honest. She trained the boys and hooked them up with customers through her website. Now what does he want? I think Shin's being interrogated about that too. Nana, wait. Why aren't Nana and Ren living together? If you tell me... If you tell me what, what are you, what, what you going to bribe us with now? I'm not dealing with you ever again. Goodbye. Sigh. So. 
Oh, shit. Well, I finally found out where Nana's mother ran off to. Is she back in the hometown? I'm such an idiot. I really screwed up. Jackson Hole. Back here again. I'm so pissed I want to scream. Oh. They're not even open yet. Help me, Koichi. What was that advert? Some kind of jaws rip off. Sign. Takami and Nana are celebrities, but you're just a nobody who thinks she's somebody. That's disgraceful, isn't it? What should I do today? Should I cook a big fancy dinner? It's Valentine's Day. But will Takami come home late again? Even though I'm here, when I think about Takumi staring at his smart, beautiful diva, thought I didn't notice. I want to scream again. A wish upon a wing. I'm listening to Rayra sing right now. <laughs> yeah, she is wearing a she is wearing a pair of wings. Is it poison? <laughs> is it poison? No, like I never. You can't stand me, and I don't think there's anything I should be thankful for. This is totally scary. Practice is about to start. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Rayra. Let me go. Let go. No, I'm sick of acting tough. Understandably so. so. Understandably so. <laughs> I mean, Ray is one of the characters with the most on her plate at the minute, really, to be honest, isn't she? She's got so much going on relationship-wise. Obviously, the Takami stuff has always been there. She's always had to kind of repress. She's a strong woman, emotionally. Well, I don't even know if that's like accurate. She's just, I'm not, I'm not sure strong equals, be, I, I don't, yeah, I don't think that is equal. Um, to say, I don't think strong is bit, I think strong is actually dealing with your emotions and such, to be honest, isn't it? But she's been strong in a sense in, in the terms that she's had to deal with all this for so long. Now the Shin situation is, yeah, she's just got a hell of a lot to deal with. At least you acknowledge my singing, Takumi. Ray redumped him to concentrate on her work. He has to be upbeat. God, you idiot. Why don't you get it? But to hear her say she's worthless if she's not singing. I didn't break up with her to hear her say things like that. Oh, right, right. Get a little pat on the head right now. It's high time you did something about it. Oh, 
Oh, this is much. This is much better from attacking me than uh, cheating. To be honest with you, I know this might be seen. I don't know if this would be seen as like questionable from people, but a thousand times I'd rather see him do that. Embrace Rayra than uh, than cheat on Komatsu with some random model. Rayra. You're more important to me than anyone else. But would you really stoop to being just one of my ladies on the side? And he brought it up himself. <laughs> the ladies on the side. Does that include Komatsu? These ladies on the side, you reckon? That's the thing. As a guy, you always want to be like the main... The main guy, if you know what I'm saying. You really don't want like... Uh, for me, anyway, that's always been a thing. If I, you, you don't never want like if a girl like I remember a, specifically like a situation where I knew a girl liked me and I, I thought she was attractive. I, I liked her a little bit as well. Didn't really know her too much, but um, I think we like ended up going to like a party, and uh, she was gonna be there, but um, there was a much more attractive guy there <laughs> who she was much more interested in. Um, and then it's like weeks later and she and she's like trying to get like my attention and stuff and it's just like hmm. I, it's just like no I can't I, yeah no <laughs> I don't I don't do with that kind of stuff uh, okay maybe that's maybe that's negative I don't really know I just uh, yeah I've always kind of been like that if, if it's always been like a better choice it, it, again I, I know it's very much outclassed so uh at that time, I wasn't too bothered, but it's just again more more so when I like when I act like everything's like normal. It's just like really, you don't remember what what happened, <laughs> and yeah. I guess maybe I've also been guilty of that as well. Perhaps can't really bring up a specific situation, but I probably have at some point maybe. I think that's just a normal thing that every human wants. It's like jealousy. Like, I remember a relationship. I think I told you about this. About a relationship ending because I was jealous um, of just my girlfriend talking to another guy. And I don't think it, it again. It was a good-looking guy, and I don't. I'm, I didn't really read the conversations or anything, but I knew she was talking to him a lot. So I, I just brought up, and then she didn't like that. So maybe it was a, a thing of maybe she was actually again. It could have been a thing of maybe she was actually like romantically interested, and that was just a perfect kind of situation. I, I think to be honest with you, looking back, that's probably what it was. <laughs> probably a perfect excuse and situation to get rid of me, perhaps. But um, maybe she's just in like again the fact that jealousy and such. But I feel like that's only natural when you're talking about someone you really like. I don't know. Yes, I would. If I got pitted against that girl, there's no way I could win. Not fair. Die Maho. Is it Die Maho? I forget. Let's have a look. Die, is it Die Maho? I think that might be something else. Demon Lord. Man. <laughs> it's quite funny, that isn't it? First thing that does come up is Demon Lord in Japanese. Mao, yeah. I think Dai means like great, like great Demon Lord, perhaps. Or that that's the Lord part. Great Demon King, yeah. 
I think that's what Komatsu would always used to say in the, uh, the anime. But it's alright. Takumi's trying to help Reira and Shin get together. Is she? Is he? But if Nana and Ren don't make up. Hello, honey. How you been doing? Good. Better now that you called. Don't give up, no matter what happens. Life's about to, uh, life's about getting knocked down over and over, but still getting up each time. Yeah, what's that classic quote from? I forget. It's very similar to what Ren just said there, but it's true. Very true. Life is like a series of setbacks, and it's about how you adapt and deal with those, isn't it? Life's about kind of making mistakes. I've been avoiding it, which I'm very guilty of, to be honest with you. <laughs> I say all that, it's just like, I'm actually, I actually do the complete opposite. Again, I'm a very hypocritical person in that sense, but just because I do that doesn't mean I don't know that. It's, it's good, if that makes sense. It's, it's like fat doctors. Like, fat doctors are very smart people, and they know what's right. And they know, uh, yeah, they know what's healthy for you, and they, they know what's not healthy for you. But they don't follow that. <laughs> but they do know. If you keep standing up again, you win. Again, I'd much prefer Taka me be cheating with Rayra than these random girls, to be honest with you. And like when I say cheating with her, I mean like actually maybe he might move away and, and kind of they might actually become a thing perhaps. I don't know. Obviously, like Komatsu is just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's been getting cheated on this whole time, so you've always felt terrible for her in this relationship. But it's, you'd feel maybe, I don't know, there's something a little bit better, honestly, about Takumi actually cheating with someone that he cares about, strangely. It's not just like service level, just, yeah. That's exactly what Nana told me. <laughs> she stole my line. That's copyright infringement. Don't you be talking about that. We don't talk copyright infringement on this channel. Can you come over tonight? You gonna give me some choco chocolates? Sorry, I always kind of fuck up when things are uh, uh, cut off like that. God, no. Nana's place. I think she'll be back about seven tonight. Sorry, no can do. Why not? You got work? You tell her that. Are you mad? I'm sorry. I'm not mad. Why should Hachiko apologize? Then why won't you come get her? We've been waiting every day. Nana is an I am. I don't know why. I just don't feel like seeing her. Really? Now what advert have I got here? Sorry guys. Oh, it looks like it skipped a bit there, sorry guys. And really slowly. <laughs> okay. Nana's selfish. Ren can't do anything, and I'm sure it really stresses him out. Why are you crying? Because it doesn't mean we're through. I can't see her now because I don't want things to end. It does kind of just feel like the more we go, the more like we are kind of denying the inevitable with Ren and Nana, to be honest with you guys, is how I feel. Whenever they do have extended times together or anything, like, things just, they just get bad, don't they? <laughs> like, it's not, it's not like disastrous or anything every time, but it's just like, there's always something after they spend a long while together that just 
pushes him further apart and further apart and I think he's thinking like the next the next few times maybe it might be it so delay 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 just so he can keep loving you know it's like sometimes it's better if you let it lie for a while you can see things more clearly and now I think about it what you wanted wasn't asking too much is that fucking Shoji Hey, Ren, no matter what happens, there won't be anyone you love more than Nana, right? If there was, we wouldn't be in this mess. I promise I'll come fetch her one of these days, so please take care of Nana for me till then. I think Nana and Ren are actually too attached to each other. <laughs> yeah, they are. That is uh, that's also like a negative as well, as much as you think that might be a positive, but it is a positive. Yeah, we knew that was happening. And yeah, it is a positive, but it is also quite a negative as well. It's like, it's like a drug for each of them, isn't it? We see Ren actually have issues with drugs, and uh, Nana is like, it's like what they say when like, adrenaline is a hell of a drug, adrenaline is a hell of a drug, I've told you guys I've done quite a few, and adrenaline is actually like one of the most powerful, <laughs> comparatively, to be honest with you guys, it, it gets you for a lot of pain, but um, yeah, Nana is very much like a drug to Ren, isn't she? That, 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 I mean, yeah, that's quite obvious. Oh yeah, we haven't. Have we actually ever seen them kiss? I'm not sure we have. If they collide, they'll break. And maybe this is a similar situation, finally. Akami and Reira. Still, though, as much as I'm much more. I wouldn't say happy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, much more. Uh, okay with the fact Takami is cheating on uh, Komatsu with Reira, it still doesn't, it still feels a bit awful and it's quite horrible in your chest to see him cheating on her. Oh dear. But look at her. You just kind of... I'm not blaming her whatsoever. You just can't help but just feel awful for for Rayra. Even though again she is essentially a uh, a p word, isn't she? She's crazy. Knock knock. Rayra. Yes. It's time for practice. Yeah, I know. You didn't have to come get us. Well, usually there's nothing to worry about. I'm sorry. Mary, no chocolates for me? Go get some from your wife. Good advice. <laughs> You're right. I have to finish up early and go home. That's the thing with Raven as well, isn't it? It's like, even now she's got to kiss Takumi and maybe realise her love a little bit. He's now a married man. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Another, another illegal activity, right? Raven's just racking up these, uh, these arrest charges. Uh, is it illegal? I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's illegal for the married couple if someone in the married couple cheats. I don't. I don't. Is it? Is it illegal if someone from outside cheats with them? I. I wouldn't expect it to be. It shouldn't be if it is, because there's plenty of. Oh, there's plenty of people that don't even ever know that the person they're seeing is married. So I don't think that should be a thing if it is. But I don't. I doubt it is. 
Also, how illegal is... Because you never actually hear of anyone getting like arrested for cheating on their uh, married partner, do you? I never do. Uh, is it illegal to cheat on your spouse? No. Oh, it's not. I thought it, it is some places, right? Back in the day, again, I learned a history class. So yeah, you'd, you'd get like killed and castrated and such and stuff like this, I think. Yeah, it is still illegal in some countries. Philippines and Taiwan. Asia. Somalia. Okay. So yeah, in some places. Do you guys think it should be illegal? It's tough to be honest, isn't it? This because there there are situations where you are married, but again, I'm watching Breaking Bad right now, and there's situations where you're you're married, but you you're like split apart, not yet divorced, and if you're seeing this someone during that time. It will be considered illegal some places. Uh, I don't mean that's right. Then again, the argument to that is can't just fucking wait. <laughs> can't just wait. But, um, yeah. I don't know. I probably don't think it should be illegal, but it definitely is very morally wrong. I think you should definitely be shunned for it. Again, so depending on the, the circumstance, it's always circumstantial, isn't it? Stuff like that. Was Takami yelling at you again? Your mascara. All over your face. Surprised there was no lipstick on, uh, on Takumi. But would you really stoop to just being one of my ladies on the side? It's alright. Let me fix my make makeup and I'll be alright. And I'll be right there, sorry. <coughs> stomp, stomp. Oh dear. Oh no, you've gone done it, Takami. Oh, there you are. Mr. Honjo? Practice is about to start. I don't think so. Push it back half an hour. Oh? Hey, Nana. Nana solo project. When are you going to leave that apartment? It's about time you got back to Ren's place. You know the paparazzi will sniff that one out soon. Hey, Gimpei, is it too late to accept that acting gig? <laughs> really? Didn't we hear that she was so opposed to that originally? No way. If you want to do it, you got it. Then go call them. I'll do it if they'll let me sing a theme song. Great. You're a good girl. But, what? I can act if I want to. I'm with you. Take me, so I'm with you. I'm a little bit iffy about this. I wouldn't say she's like selling out, but I feel like she's only doing this to improve her image as a as a solo artist, and because it's what people want <laughs> rather than what she wants. Again, I think it was quite clear that she really didn't want to do it originally, right? I think she could be a powerful actor though. That's the thing, I think Nana could succeed in pretty much any venture she wanted to because she just is that type of woman. I should do it. It's all about survival in this world. And it looks like Misa has put a business brain on here. You're right. I'll go make dinner at apartment 707. I have to be with her. At least. So please take care of Nana for me. Nana's late. She said she'd be home by seven. 
Welcome home, honey. You're still here? That's so, such an adorable little shot, right? That's what you want greeting you when you come in after the day at work right there. Dinner's ready. I ate at my meeting. I'm full. I can eat it tomorrow. Then I'll draw a bath. We can take a bath together. I brought extra clothes too. You can go home. It's already 10. Sure, I, the one thing I really do like about this series is that there is like well, pretty much no um, fan service. I feel like in a lot of shows I've watched, this would just be an excuse to put a load of fan service in here. Whooped. Oh, you do what you want, and I will. Like it doesn't need to. It doesn't need to have fan service to sexualize the characters. I think is a very good artwork from the from the author of this. To be honest with you, like it makes really sexy characters, but they're wearing like they're they're fully covered up. Yet they look really sexy just because of the outfits that they're wearing and the attitude that comes from it. I don't know. I think it's uh, I think that that's yeah. Just because she doesn't have to do that, that just it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to word this correctly uh, because people do that. It kind of I wouldn't say like makes them lazy, but it's just it is just kind of a lazy way of sexualizing the characters. Whereas this is like almost like a master at work and doing that with the clothing and such and the style. Especially with, uh, obviously, there's a very, very different style between both the nanas here, and um, both are very. I, I like both of them a lot. Both very different. Did something happen with Takumi? No. <laughs> and here come the tears. He emailed me saying he's working late again today on Valentine's Day. He wasn't that here for my birthday or Christmas. So he could have at least come home for Valentine's Day. I wonder if it's really work. Oh. Does that not just like tell you a lot? The fact that he's not there. But again, I remember with a girl I, I went out with, I just said like I wasn't available any day of the week because I wasn't awfully interested. I don't know, I was, that's a bit of a bastard move looking back, to be honest, going out of her in the first place. Because again, I wasn't really interested, but I just, I don't know. I've always felt, I don't know. I felt bad, I guess, but I think I think I actually made it worse by accepting and feeling bad and just denying. But, um, yeah, this this should really tell you where his priorities lie, right? On these important days, he can't even make time for what should be the most important person in, in his life. And as we know, is very much not. That's right. I have to. I have to eat the cake. I worked hard today with that to look forward to. Well, it's all right. I did make it for Nana. It's amazing. Maybe I should live here with you again until Ren comes to get her. Well, that wouldn't work. Why don't you? <laughs> We're back, baby. <laughs> Although, I say that. It's not really a, that much of a good thing, is it? It's actually like a negative thing in a way. Like, I love it as a viewer. I'd love it. But um, it is kind of going back to a past situation and that is kind of seen as going two steps back, isn't it? Oh, they've, they they, uh, they got married. They had their places. Nana reached stardom. Nana is married a very rich man. But now we've ended up back here where we kind of started. But that was always the best and fun times in the series, so 
Maybe it isn't that bad. That's the thing with me. I think I, I'd much rather do something if it was a choice between being super successful and like being happy. Um, I mean, a lot of people say they'd rather be happy and probably would well, would actually take being super rich and successful, but I, I actually would just rather be relaxed and happy than having to be super stressed and such and have a lot of fortune. What's the fame? That's the, that's what they teach you when you're young. It's just like they put so much importance on money and such. Is uh, is you kind of forget it's just like a social construct. Is that the right word for it? I don't really know, but yeah, the concept of money, just um, something humans created. Don't worry about your baby. I'm talking rubbish right now. Apologies. <laughs> don't worry about your baby. I'll take care of you both. Okay, husbando. <laughs> husbando Nana. Is she proposing to me? I mean, she kind of is. Ding dong. Who is it? This late. Better not be no paparazzi. Maybe it's Ren. What? So I've got no idea who this will be because I don't think it'll be Ren, judging by what he said earlier. I don't think it's going to be Taku, me. So yeah, apologies for that pause. Um, yeah, I don't think it's Taku, me or Ren. It won't be Nobu. It might be Yasu. It might be Misao. I'm actually thinking it might be one of the paparazzi, to be honest with you. But let's uh, let's find out. Maybe it's Ren. What? Because it's Valentine's Day. Maybe he changed his mind. So what? Who is it? It's me. Who's me? Oh, it is Ren. Oh, it's Yasu. Oh, it's Yasu, okay. <laughs> what are you doing here? That's the thing. In the anime, you'd know that is straight away. I don't have any chocolates for you. Why well, she looks so smug here? <laughs> I like it. She's got, she kind of looks like a uh, uh, middle-aged kind of businessman. It, it kind of looks like someone like from like Saul Goodman. Like when he's like getting like pampered up and massaged and stuff. <laughs> kind of reminds me of him a bit here. Ah, he's such a lovely suit and presence, isn't he? Mr. Yasu. Please have some Yasu. I didn't make any for you because you have Mew. But I think it's really good. Oh, thank you. Good thing I came over. Reckon you got him anything? She kind of strikes me as a woman that maybe wouldn't. That's my cake. I don't eat it. But Mew left to go shoot on locations there and will be gone for a while. Do you miss her? Yeah. But she got the role she wanted, so she's psyched. I'm happy for her. So instead of going barging into another girl's place... So instead, you go barge into another girl's place. Come back, Nana. There's the fucking attitude right there. <laughs> if you don't want to go back to Ren's place, at least move back to the dorms. Why? Why, though? I know, I never noticed that. I never noticed the fact that the lamp actually looks a little bit like a strawberry. A little bit. It's not safe here. Why is it not safe here? Oh, I guess because there's no security or protection from paparazzi or anything. Okay. 
Yeah, I guess it isn't safe here, to be fair. You talk, uh, the way he said that, though, is, is thinking that like he's in a ghetto or something. Oh. And everyone's worried. Sorry, guys. I want to make it my own. Start over. Oh, sh I want to make it on my own. Start over again. I get it. That's the main reason why Nana's staying here. I understand. So yeah, it's kind of like what I said earlier about them like going back two steps. She is kind of going back two steps to the start of the journey, but now she's going to redo it by herself. I don't. Again, I'm I'm not really a fan of that. I'd love to see. I. Like, yeah, I just I just really do just kind of think it really sucks for the other members like Yasu who gave up a lot and potentially any job as being a lawyer in the future to be in this band that Shin's put on the line and Nobu as well so terrible for those guys if Nana just because if she decides to go off her own I don't think it'll be a case of Glass get a new lead singer and they'll be successful no I think most of their success did come from Nana so it's it'll be the end of them it really sucks you've oh. also got to be selfish sometimes but you can't just start over anymore do you really think you came this far all by yourself I also find it strange like we're saying this and he's talking a lot of sense here for sure but wasn't he, as well as a few others, some of the people that pushed her into making the decision to go in solo? No, I don't. That's why I don't want to be a burden and depend on you guys. Making us worry is more of a burden. I'm taking you home when I finish my cake. <laughs> the dorm the dorm room next to mine is still open. I have to go home too. And what if she says no? <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna drag her to my husband who saved me. The me who can't do anything alone. Hey, Nana. So where do I read from here? Oh, it looks like that is the end. Do I go down or sideways? I'm going to go sideways, but... Hey, Nana. If you return to our apartment again, this time I'll really leave the house in Shiragane. Is it alright if I become a single mother? I love you. From Layla. Burn it with a cigarette. Be careful with that. <laughs> I'm not one to talk about burning stuff with uh, ink and such on it. Probably not too good for you. So this was the gift from Rayra. There are wings. Let us speak a little bit about it earlier. Little gift from Rayra to uh, to Takumi. This is promising though. Again, it's sad being a single mother, but this is promising. Is it alright if I become a single mother? Absolutely. Absolutely it is. And you know what? Because you married him, you'll get half of all his earnings. <laughs> Which I love. Again, I hate that in real life because, well, obviously, situations where I'd probably love that to happen to a terrible, if a terrible guy ended up getting divorced and that happened fair enough but it usually isn't the case usually it's the case of like both both uh people done something wrong but still the the person with the lower income gets uh gets some money from the other one oh that's always been a controversial topic and such though hasn't it and i've got kind of like no idea what actually surrounds a lot of that and again i imagine it's quite circumstantial but because takami is a famous musicized He'll be giving Kamatsu a lot of money, <laughs> I think. So 
So win win. Get rid of Takumi and take a lot of his money. Will she accept that though? Komatsu does maybe strike me as the type of person that might not accept that, but who knows? Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, a really interesting chapter again today. Lots happening here. Again, we had Takumi and uh, Reira towards the start of the episode here, which was. Um, again, I, I kind of liked it in a way. Again, obviously, I feel terrible for Komatsu, of course, but um, I love the fact that she was actually able to release herself a little bit there. She gets some stuff off her chest and. Yeah, just not have to carry these burdens for just like a short rest by which I, again I quite liked. But um, yeah, nice little bit at the end here with uh, with the nanas as well. I've seen them together back in uh, apartment seven oh seven. That's always a blast. Even though again, if even if it's two steps back, but yeah, some uh, some more interesting talk about the solo stuff. Uh, again, I'm not sure if it was just like the case of everyone was naive and thought that Nana would just be able to go back to blast after going solo. I think the studio. Will do everything in their power to make sure that's not the case and have liabilities like Shin and such involved. But yeah, uh, we'll find out more about that next time. Again, thank you guys very much for watching. Cute little shot of uh, Akemi and Raver right there. Again, I really wouldn't be too mad to see the two end up together actually. Uh, I'd much prefer that than Takami being with Komatsu. But um, yeah, again, do let me know what you guys think about this uh, chapter down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date. And I'll see you guys next time with chapter 72.